All right, you guys, this is Ross the Fig Boss. In today's video, we have a really nice spread of figs, don't we? This is a thing of beauty, isn't it? We also have a lot of dried figs here, actually, that I've been uh, dehydrating in the dehydrator. And so we have a lot to talk about because I wanted to show you guys and teach you guys about my best kept secret of really just how do you get better tasting fruits? How do you get better tasting figs? I think we all want that no matter where we live. I think caprification would certainly help. But other than that, we have some really important tips. So stay to the end, watch this video in full, share it with your friends, check out our blog, figboss.com, hit that subscribe button, because this video here is worth its weight in gold. If you guys were, by the way, at the Staten Island Fig Festival recently, you actually got to taste these amazing figs for yourself. And if you were at that festival, shout out to you guys. I really appreciate you guys got to uh, come there. I got to meet you guys. We got to talk. It was a great time. Um, and I gave you guys, for anyone that was there that was a viewer of mine, came up and said hello, thanked me for what I did. You guys got to taste some of these amazing figs. And if you were there, put it down in the comments just how amazing these figs were. Let everybody know that I ain't just making this stuff up. <laughs> um, so we also did a tasting, by the way, that we talked about in our live stream episode not too long ago, where I brought a lot of my local friends, my real life friends, some people also who grow figs, my friend Chris, my friend Romeo, shout out to you guys. And we did a tasting here with a very similar phenomenon that we did to get this amazing quality, which is actually a form of dehydrating them. So just like these dehydrated figs here that came out of the dehydrator, I also, in a way, dehydrated some of these. They're at different states here of different levels of dehydration so far. A lot of them, uh, believe it or not, haven't gone that far in this process. But what I do is, and you guys can't tell anybody, okay? Um, I cut them in half, just like you see here on the plate. I put them skin side down on the plate, and then I stick them in the fridge. And they slowly dehydrate in the fridge. And the, the only thing you gotta watch out for is one, you gotta make sure there's no moisture on the bottom. Some of these figs, for whatever reason, they maybe are a little wet when we harvest them. Dry them all off, make sure they're all nice and dry. There's no moisture on the plate because that will just contribute to mold. We don't want any moisture being trapped anywhere on this plate and on these figs. We want the moisture to leave the figs because when the, the water is evaporated out, we have a much more intensely flavored and even maybe even a higher bricks fruit, right? The sugar content is definitely more concentrated. Um, but the other really important thing I think is often overlooked, because it's not just enough to stick them in the fridge like this. I have these figs here I dehydrated. I put these in the dehydrator for a reason. Because when I put them on a plate like this, they're not ripe enough, or the bricks, I imagine, is not high enough. Maybe they were picked after the rain. Maybe they were damaged by the rain. Maybe, for whatever reason, uh, the figs are not really of the highest quality to begin with. So by putting a, a low quality fig on this plate, you're not gonna really see the same results. Of course, you're gonna see good results, better results. So even if it is a bit underripe, my suggestion, either make jam out of it, cook with it, put it in the dehydrator, or put it on a plate like this. But I find that if you don't have a high enough bricks to begin with, by putting them in the fridge over the course of five days to three weeks or so, it's just going to be maybe a little bit of trouble because figs often spoil in the fridge. Um, they spoil a lot quicker outside of the fridge, but if you don't have a high enough bricks, you're probably not gonna see the results that I'm seeing. And so the bricks, by the way, starts with you as the grower in that if you can 100% control or have a really good handle on the soil moisture, that your trees are receiving. So if you're growing them in containers, try not to overwater them. The more water that's available to these figs, 
in excess of what they need, that water is then pumped into the fruits themselves. And the fruits themselves then have a lower bricks. They then have a worse flavor and more water. And the same thing happens when it rains and that the rain hits the skin of the figs and absorbs right into the skin, depending on the variety, depending on the quality of the skin. And so when the water is injected in the fruits rather than the, you know, either it's the plant itself that put the, the water into the fruit from the roots and is storing the water there, or maybe it is just from the rain, whatever the case may be, we have a problem. We have a lower bricks that way. The other thing that's really important is we want to pick them at the right time. So it's not enough, by the way, guys, to just put them on this plate. You also got to take care of the other stuff. You got to pick them at the right time. Every day, the figs ripen on the tree, the better they taste, the better they concentrate, the more the sugars actually have a chance to be pumped into the fruit from the carbohydrates that the trees produce from photosynthesis. It's the same thing, again, with the water content. So, you know, this is a really nice tip. I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope it works for you, but you want to bring this even to a higher level, do some of the other things I've mentioned and you'll have some of the best tasting fruits. I'm telling you. Um, anyway, guys, that was this video. Again, check out all the stuff that we do. Hit that subscribe button, go to our blog, figboss.com, go to the bottom, put in your email, subscribe to the newsletter. You'll be notified when we get new, uh, new blog posts. And, uh, yeah, thanks for everybody coming out to the festival. We'll talk to everybody later. All right. Take care, guys. We'll see you for the next one.